day. I like to run the streets to the dark out and come on, pull your back out. I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. Oh, no. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm about to make me some breakfast, but if you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. If you don't want to see more of me now, you're gonna want to see more of me later. I promise you, I'm a date. If you think I'm lying, keep watching and you'll see. I don't know, I feel like having an intro to me feels like kind of childish, and I kind of cringe when I say it now. And I feel like I shouldn't feel that way because a lot of you guys associate me with it. But that's why I've been saying it. So, but I feel like y'all get the message. Like, if you're here, I feel like that message has brought you that far to stay here. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm about to make some breakfast. I asked y'all on my Instagram story um, to give me some matcha recipes. Matcha? Matcha? I don't know. But I asked y'all because I'm a coffee drinker. I have not tasted matcha until the other day when I tried it for the first time. And I was actually pleasantly surprised because I have never had it before. And I see, you know, the girlies drinking it, but I'm like, what is this green stuff? Like, I've never had it before. And I was scared because some people I've heard tried it and they say it tastes like grass. And I don't want no grass, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nothing that goes with grass. I don't want none of that. So I was scared to try it, but I tried it the other day and I got it super sweet. Cause the orders I asked y'all, I said, make sure you guys put it to where it's sweet. Cause I do not want nothing to taste like grass. And I, somebody gave me this order and I tried it. It was so sweet, baby. It tasted just like diabetes. It was so good. It was so good. So I was like, oh, this is good. But I don't know how good it is for you because it's so sweet. Meaning like it has a lot of sugar and stuff like that. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know the difference because I get my coffee pretty sweet too. So I don't know the difference of like coffee and matcha. I looked up the benefits and it says it may help you um, lose weight. It may help you do this. It may help you that. But it doesn't have any like guaranteed benefits. So I was like, I don't know. Cause if I can make it at home, I will get my own matcha powder and make it at home. See if I can make it better but i don't know but i just ordered it again so y'all can see what the order i got is but when i do doordash it doesn't give me the option to add any cold foam so it's that order without the cold foam just so y'all know that but anyways y'all happy may it's a new month new things new blessings you know what i'm saying today my agenda is to make content and to package orders i'm not sure if i'll be able to go to the post office in time today but i just want to package them today i got new thank you cards and new poly mailers so you guys will be able to have different packaging because i used to have the white poly mailers and i still have them um so if you shop Kaylin collection originally y'all know they are the white four by six poly mailers and they were my originals and i originally wanted black but the black packaging was out of stock so I was able to get it for a long time, but I recently was able to get my hands on some black ones. So I got some matte black mailers and it just looks so much better. They're bigger. I will still use my white ones for smaller orders, people who just use um, or order one or two items. But as far as putting six items into one little bag, I'm not doing that. I have the bigger ones now and they're black so i feel like it just looks so much better and so much cuter i don't know if you ask me i feel like it looks cuter that's my opinion because i love black and that's how i feel so yeah i'm gonna make breakfast i got hash browns eggs and sausage that i'm gonna make and i think i got some bacon too i don't know but i made a little bit of changes into my apartment y'all because i told y'all i wanted to change this area up so i literally just did this my mom was in town so please ignore if i got only got one bottle on there i just bought that one bottle because i just wanted to see how it would look but of course i'm gonna have different bottles different options but me personally but this is my little bar area i don't even want to say bar car because i feel like it's on the car i made it like my own little diy bar area but i like it because i feel like it just looks so minimal classy and sexy and i love that this all is like different pieces so this i didn't have this mirror this shelf is from amazon these glasses y'all are literally from dollar tree literally and you just see how like seamless and nice that looks 
Do you see that? I feel like it looks so good. I love it. And this, my stepdad actually got from his job and brought it because he knew that I would like it. So I got this for free. And I feel like it really makes this corner just look better. It's gonna look so good when I add decorations on there and my different bottles. And there's a light right here, so it's perfect because at nighttime, like, you can really see how nice and seamless it looks. So I'm really proud of my little bar area. I really am. I, I really am. It's so cute if you ask me. And then in my room, I got these two paintings. Both of them was together, $24, so y'all know I had to grab it because I feel like I've been needed something to put on top of my headboard. And I was supposed to be making those textured paintings, but... I just never have, and I feel like if I do them, I probably still wouldn't hang them up because I feel like they're not good enough for what I want them to look like. So I just had to put something there, and I feel like it just makes the room look so much better. I like it. And then, y'all, I also have this shelf, and then this shelf came with the bar shelf. So I'm using this one as a perfume stand. There's three layers, but I have my vase on top of the first one, and then my perfumes. And I bought some more perfumes because I didn't realize how much I've already used my other perfumes that I don't have anymore in my collection until I put them there. Like these are all the ones that I have left because I use my perfumes I like to death. So you guys can see this one, she's almost gone. And I don't keep the bottle, obviously. So I ordered a new Valentino. This one is my favorite. Like. I love this one. I also bought the YSL. And y'all, I bought that perfume with a blind eye, meaning I haven't smelled it or nothing like that. I've smelled it before one time, I think, at Ulta, but hold on, my phone is ringing. So I smelled it at Ulta before, but that was a long time ago. But I know what scents and notes I like now. So I feel like I can kind of tell in. I just like YSL perfumes in general. Like I do like the black opium. A lot of people say it's too sweet. I like sweet smelling stuff. I like vanilla bases. I like lavender and I like jasmine and gourmand. I like all those notes. I like to literally smell edible. Like I like to smell like you could literally just like eat me alive and I'm just so sweet. I love the smell that. That's why I have sweet smelling perfumes. Hmm. The ones are the bottom. This one was like my very first perfume that I ever bought myself. Um and I don't wear it no more. And this one is a perfume that I actually bought my grandma. And y'all know she passed away. So I have it again now, but I don't wear it. Cause it's like what she would wear, like her kind of scent. And obviously like we're two different, you know, generation. And also I just wouldn't wear it anyway. Cause I keep it for, you know, memories and stuff like that. So that's what, changes i did or whatever to my apartment but i love the stuff that i added so far i try to do something different with my hair y'all and i try to put my hair with like a little scarf headband and i feel like i'm wearing a damn headband wig like i feel like it looks like so cute my hair has grown so long and i feel like i didn't really notice until i washed my hair from being straight how long it looks when it's curly like we are past the shoulder stage y'all and if you have Texture hair, you know, getting past the shoulder stage is a big thing because your hair kind of grows up and bigger. It doesn't really drop longer, depending on what kind of hair texture you have. And me personally, my hair gets stuck at the shoulder stage for so long. So the fact that it's dropped now and it's been like a good year without me cutting it, because I've cut it last year shorter. Um, I didn't do a big chop, obviously, but I did cut it last year short. So. It's been a whole year without me cutting it. So if I go another year without me cutting it, me dyeing it a light color, cause y'all know I've been dyeing my hair black, but I dye it with temporary hair coloring and it's not box dye. So my hair is not really damaged from me always going black because you can see it literally comes right out and my hair is already brown again. If I just keep going a year without bothering it like I usually do, it will be good. Like it will be okay, it will be good. It will probably be like right here without me stretching it out. I'm trying to get to elbow length without me stretching it out. The key to that, I'm telling you, is leaving your hair alone. Stop thinking about it. Don't care about the growth. Leave it alone. Because for the longest time, y'all be like, oh my God, your hair is growing so much. And I'll be like, girl, I feel like it's just at the same length. When you look at back at pictures, y'all, it does grow so fast. Like, it's crazy. It really is. But I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast, y'all. I want to order a grill from Amazon so I could just use one big thing to make my eggs bacon and stuff like that because you could just put it on your stove you don't have to wash multiple dishes after you cook you could just use a big griddle put it on the stove use that because right now i'm about to use two different pans 
for no reason because I'm only making sausage, hash browns, and eggs. I'm putting my pans on the stove. I'm about to get my eggs out. I did not mean to order this big bag of hash browns, but I got a big bag of hash browns and I did not mean to order it. So I could have sworn that I was getting the a little bag, I was wrong, and that's okay. That's fine. And I need to shave my face again, y'all, because my unibrow starting to grow back. And I could like see the little hairs on my face, because y'all know I be doing playing in my face. So we need to get that done too for the new month, because I can't be walking around looking hairy, because y'all know I'm a hairy girl. My matcha came, y'all. You see all the matches at the bottom? You can't ask for cold foam when you do DoorDash. I don't know why. I think it's because they can't give you the top to sit from because they want to make sure that the top is sealed, which I get. And I should be able to make my own cold foam anyway at home. I just don't have the cream and stuff like that here. But I've seen the girlies making their own cold foam at home. So this is a medium ice matcha latte with less ice, three vanilla swirls, four vanilla shots, two liquid cane sugars with regular milk. I like tasting the cold foam. That's a big part of it for me. It's so good, y'all. It's a different taste. I don't know how to explain the taste, but it's different than coffee. But so far, I've had it for like three days in a row. But I told you I like it, but it's just super sweet, so. Y'all hear the ambulance or the police, whoever they are? I'm putting my sausages on the pan, y'all. And I cannot put my top side pan, so I gotta put a plate on top of the pan because I need the sausage to cook in the inside. But I'm gonna put my hash browns and then my eggs because the eggs cook the fastest, but I'm just trying to get some food in my system because usually I'll start making content or packaging orders later in the day and I will wake up and not eat nothing. So I'm trying to get a productive morning routine because they say that millionaires have a successful morning routine. So I'm trying. First step, I need to start waking up earlier because I need to start going to sleep earlier because I have a terrible sleep schedule. I be up all night. Cause I feel like my mind is more at ease at night and I don't know what that's about. But it's like during the day, I just, <laughs> it be me versus my mind. So I'm trying to get a better schedule, y'all. Naturally, without taking like melatonin and stuff like that. Cause I get bad nightmares with that stuff and I don't want to have no nightmares. So I need to start going to sleep earlier. For real. This big ass bag of hash browns. That's so crazy. I thought I had some butter spray, but I guess I don't. So we're gonna use the butter. <laughs> outside I finished my matcha and my breakfast well I didn't eat all of it I didn't eat all my eggs or my hash browns but I ate all my sausage because I got a full of this I got a full and that's why I was trying not to drink it while I was cooking but I just kept sipping on it and now I'm full and I probably won't eat until tonight but I had to answer emails and call the post office because I've been having an issue with some packages and and being an entrepreneur and having a small business people don't talk about like the back end stuff and like when you have to handle things yourself how that stuff work but having to deal with like the post office is the most aggravated thing because once the package leaves my care it is out of my hands and it's just irritating it's so irritating to have to deal with other people who are not doing their job right so that's what i've been doing this whole time i'm about to go in and beat my face for some content the last video I did with my content, actually, I got a lot of good feedback, and I think y'all enjoyed watching me, you know, do my makeup on camera and stuff like that, because I really just come on makeup already done on camera. So I think y'all really enjoyed seeing that, and I really just want to showcase how much my lip combo can really change your makeup look. Like, I feel like it makes the whole makeup look 
So it's nice seeing the makeup before the lip combo and then how the lip combo really just adds the sprinkle on there. So I'm about to go ahead and film me doing that. But I'm so used to making content on my camera so it was different for me filming on my phone and making content on my phone. But I actually really enjoyed it. I play some music. I chill. I take my time. That's my time for me. I make sure that it looks good and I just chill and I just vibe out. So I actually like it. I feel like it's therapeutic because I'm not going nowhere when I'm doing my makeup for my content or anything like that because um, I don't have to rush or nothing like that. So I can take my time with my makeup and I can just, you know, be on camera. But I'm not filming on my camera. I'm filming on my phone so it's more convenient. So it's just very therapeutic and it's just different. So I'm actually excited to make some more content for Kaylin Collection. And also for my giveaway, which if y'all have not entered my giveaway already, you can enter my giveaway. You guys have to follow at Kaylin Collection on Instagram to see any more updates. And I also been updating it on my personal page at my Kaylin as well. I feel like if I'm telling y'all, you know, for the giveaway, you have to make a good reel, a good TikTok. I have to also be a leader, an example of that, and make my own um, content for y'all too. So that's something that I'm going to try to do more. But i actually really been enjoying it. And then after that, later tonight, I'm going to package some orders. So tomorrow morning, I can go ahead and ship them out. And I'm going to show y'all my new packages um, and my new thank you cards because they are glossier. It's the same design, but they're glossy, so I feel like it just looks more sexy and, you know, classy. Um, so, y'all can actually keep thank you cards if you guys want them. I don't know. I mean, you never know. But, yeah. I ate my breakfast outside this morning, and I've been trying to, like, be more um, outside because I've been in the house all day, and I feel like it makes you go crazy, kind of, like... I'm always in the house and I enjoy being in the house, but I literally don't leave and I don't interact with nobody like in real life. Like my job is what y'all see me doing right now. And I'm fine with the no interaction. But sometimes me in the house all day make me go crazy. And I feel like sometimes I just need like sunlight and stuff like that. So I just sit on my balcony and I just eat my breakfast. Yesterday I ate my lunch out here. So I've been trying to just at least start my morning out on my balcony or my lunch. Somewhere where I could just get some sun and some serotonin because I feel like the sun makes you feel better mentally because when I'm on vacation I feel so good when I'm just like tanning and I'm just out in the sun somewhere else so I feel like the reason it is just being out and getting some serotonin I feel like the sun really just makes you feel better so I've just been sitting outside but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make this content all right y'all so I'm currently in my office I see I got some new things for Kayla collection so I have boxes I need to open I'm gonna open them later but I wanted to show y'all my girl got me a row with Kaylin collection and it's so cute the back has Kaylin collection too I'll show y'all the back of the robe when I'm done but I'm deciding on if I should put the robe on for my content or no should i show my shoulders and have the rope off and i put these clips in here because my hair keeps falling in my face but i don't know if it actually stay there but i don't know if i should do rope on or off for the content i don't know i don't know so i just don't know what looks better also i need to figure out what i'm gonna do for my next nails my next nail set because now that i am being more consistent and stuff like that my hands are always in the camera so I don't know what I'm gonna get for my next nails. And I feel like my options are starting to wear thin. So I need something cute. I need something cute, y'all. So I just don't know. And also, these are my lashes. Like I got them done like two weeks ago, I think. And they still look good. That's why I get my lashes mega volume, okay? Cause they last you. My appointment for my fill-in is on the 11th and it's the third so it would be perfect timing for a fill but i like really full lashes anyways i be feeling like it's filling time right after but i like when it's not that full like i like when it's not that full it, the lashes get to marinate a little bit because after like the first day with the full set sometimes i feel like i look a little bit too too much too crazy but after a few days it's like it's perfect length perfect fullness just like your hairstyles, how they need to marinate after a minute because you don't like it at first. I feel like it just takes like the second day, the third day, like you start feeling like, okay, I look good, I look cute. So I feel like they look still look cute right now. My bottoms mostly fell off. My bottoms always fall off though. My bottom lashes are kind of long anyway, my real ones. So it's nothing mascara can't um, tackle and handle. 
but I'm about to start filming this content. I don't know where I want to y'all up because I have my tripods um, connected to my camera and my light. So I might not be able to actually even film my makeup process, but I wasn't going to honestly talk anyway. I don't know, y'all. I don't know where I'm going to put you guys, honestly. I just might not film this part of me doing it. But I wasn't even going to really talk for real. So I'm not really that bad. Y'all, my eye was watering, so my face is blotchy, but I'm done making content. I'm going to show y'all real quick what I got. I did the whole entire makeup tutorial, and then I made a little TikTok. I only made one. Can y'all see? And then I did a little TikTok. So, yeah, I'm about to just take my makeup off because I only do it literally for the content I'm not going to wear. And then I'm about to package these orders. My paper was low for my printer, so I had to get some new paper. But most importantly, y'all, I got brand new thank you cards. And these are glossy. The last ones on the front weren't glossy. But these are from a different printing company, so these are glossy. The back is still the same format. But I love them. They're glossy. And I feel like they're just so much more classier. And I also got new mailers, too. And I feel like they just look so sleek. But like I said, I have been using the small ones still for the people who only purchase one or two items. So make sure y'all shop KaylinCollection.com. So yeah, I'm finna pack these orders, y'all, and I'm gonna come back. But first, I gotta take this makeup off. I'm finna take my makeup off, y'all. And yes, I know that makeup wipes are not the best for you, but I'm sorry, I don't be feeling like going through too much to take the makeup off. Like, it's not that serious to me. Any place that the wipe can get exclusively. I, of course, wash my face, but I also go in with a Q-tip to make sure that I'm getting all the excess off. I'm trying not to wipe off the gel on my eyebrows, though. Because I did do my eyebrows. I laid them on really nice, so I'm trying not to undo the gel on them. Just trying to take the product off my face. But so far, so good, honestly. I still got my lip combo on, y'all. And it still look good. That's how you know you can wear it. without a fully beat face. We are done. We're taking it off. I literally do my makeup for content and be right in the house. But yeah, yeah. So now I'm gonna just package orders and call it a night, really. Like damn, she her move. 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 She lit, got money too. Like damn, she her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Stuck in my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you, always stay hot. Hey y'all, good afternoon. I'm still in my sleepwear clothes from last night. I was packaging orders last night um, and then I stopped and paused because it was getting late and I took a shower, freshened up so I could have like a clear mind to do it today because I don't like doing it when I feel like I'm tired. I look a little crazy y'all, like I need to rewash my hair and everything. And some of the girls were saying to try the matcha with, from Starbucks with brown sugar and I was kind of skeptical because I'm like brown sugar, like I didn't know how it would taste or whatever so I'm just like, mmm. Do I want to try the matcha like that? But I was like, why would I ask y'all for the recipes and not actually try them? So I got a venti in case I like it because this is probably going to be my first meal and my most meal for the day because I'm probably not going to eat until later, later at night because I have to go to the post office after I'm done packaging the rest of these orders and drop them off. And then I'm probably just going to eat when I get hungry way later in the day. So I wanted to get a big one in case I did like it, but if I don't like it, I'm gonna be mad because I could have got a smaller one. 
but whatever. I never had oat milk before, but y'all was saying that it hits better with the matcha, so I was like, okay, let me try it, I guess. Three pumps of brown sugar syrup and extra caramel drizzle. This is the order. I copied from somebody else, y'all can screenshot it. You see, the matcha's always at the bottom. It tastes good. It tastes kind of like the milk tea I've been getting. I think it's the oat milk that I'm liking the taste of. Something's different. Like it tastes like the one from Dunkin', but it's way less sweeter, obviously, because I put three shots of liquid cane sugar or two in the one from Dunkin'. So this one is way less sweeter, but it tastes good. It just tastes different. I don't know. I feel like I could make the one from Dunkin' taste like this. So I feel like from where you get the matcha from, I don't feel like it really matters. I just spilled to y'all. Wow. That's what I really get, like, that's what I get. Hold on, y'all. I did not think I was gonna have to clean this shit up because I didn't think I was gonna spill nothing. I'm gonna put a napkin under this. All right, y'all, so it's like two days later. I didn't film um, the past two days, but y'all, yeah, today I'm about to go to the pool and get a tan. I have a bikini on and my little cover-up skirt. And then after that, my aunt's gonna come over and we're gonna do like a taco night. I don't know, but we got like plates and stuff like that and napkins. Well, I didn't get none of that. She wanted to get stuff like that, but we're just gonna eat and watch TV. But my perfume came, so I'm gonna open it and smell it for the first time on camera. Cause why not? And also, y'all, yeah, I did wash my hair. Um, I didn't really style it that good because I am gonna go downstairs and go to the pool. So I'm not gonna get in the water, probably not, honestly. I don't feel like it. But I just put some product in it and detangled it. So when I actually do style it good next time, it will be detangled because when I washed it in the shower, it took me forever because my hair was tangled up. But the perfume that I'm opening, y'all, is the YSL Libre. I ordered it online from Ulta, y'all. She's sexy. She's sexy. She just looks like she smells good. Okay, this perfume is very strong. Like, it's a very strong scent. It's really strong, but I like it because I feel like it's sweet and it's dominant. But it smells very, like, seductive. Like, I get what they were saying when they said, like, oh, this scent is very sexy, seductive. Because it really does smell, like, very strong and seductive and dominant. But when it dries down, it smells kind of more light and airy. I don't know how to describe it, but it does smell really good. It does. I feel like you would have to look at, like, the notes and see what kind of notes that you like to see if you would like it. I feel like this one is kind of more date night perfume. So, like I told y'all, I'm going to put all my big ones here. So, when my big one of the Valentino, because I had to get a big one of this because I love this perfume so much. It's my favorite still. So, I did get a big one of this. So, when this one comes in, I'm going to put this, whatever is left in here on the bottom. And then, so there's going to be the big ones at the top. And then, whatever small perfumes I get are going to be at the bottom. So, I'm going to try to make it organized and make it look nice as time goes by. But that's what it looks like for now. But, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go and get a little tan. Probably not. It's already like four o'clock and the sun gonna go down soon, but I probably won't get no tan anyway. It takes a long time for me to get a tan, I feel like. I get a tan when I'm not trying to get a tan. I gotta be in the sun consistently to like really get to my color because I've been pale and I feel like when I came back from Cabo, I was tan, but it's been a minute since I actually been laying out in the sun. So yeah, y'all just wanna show y'all me opening my perfume and I'll talk to y'all later. All right, y'all, my hair is a mess because I gotta wash it again because I had went in the hot tub, but we got our PJ time, and really it's just an excuse to eat and make some drinks. So we got a little set up. The mom is so extra, like she's extra. So she got the table cover, and we're gonna put all of our stuff for our tacos and fajitas on here. And we're making drinks. Look at our little margarita cups. So I guess our theme for tonight is tropical. But we finna just have a little fiesta, taco mini party with just us two, and watch um, Bad Boys and Baddies. Yeah. We're gonna make some strawberry lemonade, lemon drop. You said what? No, I heard what you said. <laughs> I heard what you said. Oh my God, we're so festive. <laughs> I hate to bring you bad news. And now she want me. And when I'm in that, I make that body. I make a sing.
Hey y'all, I'm back and my nail is broken. Now, how my nail broke? Honestly, I don't know. I think my nail hit the bathroom counter when I was getting out the shower and it just flung off. It's on my pinky, so I don't care that much, but I can't go too long without having a nail missing because I'll go crazy. Like, I want to take all them off. But I'm getting my lashes done um, later this week. I believe, like, right before the weekend starts, the 11th, I think, is when I get them done. And I'll probably get my nails done probably the day after I get my lashes done. So, at least the maintenance is being consistent because my nails still look super good, though. But... It's time for a new design. It's time for a fill, even though they look so good, I feel like still. But today, I just made myself a salad. This is my salad, and it's lunch slash dinner because it's already about to be 6 o'clock, y'all, because I've been eating so late. I need to start making sure that I'm eating throughout the day, but I don't have a lot of appetite. Like, I get hungry probably like once a day, and I eat one time, like around this time, and then I'm done eating for the rest of the day, and then I'll get super hungry at the end of the day. Like, late at night, I'll get super hungry. And that's not good for you. You're supposed to be eating properly, but don't be like me, better than me, okay? I really want to try to go and get a dermaplaning razor for myself so I could do my face. Because y'all know I said I want to do um, dermaplaning in my face. I wash my face, put my face oil on my face, and I just basically like dermaplaning it with just shaving it. And it benefits me. Um, it makes my face feel smoother it looks cleaner and i've been doing content all on my face zoomed in my face so i want my face to just look like a smooth base because when you put product on it it already makes it look texture because skin is texture so i want to make sure that my face looks like a smooth base and i'm getting my lashes done and i want my face to just look smooth and clear afterwards just basically like a reset i want to make sure my face is just looking smooth and nice so i really do want to go and get some razors because i don't think i have any more new ones and i don't reuse the razors that use my face no it's basically taking out all the little hairs you got on your face and yeah i really want to get that done so i really want to go ahead and get that the good thing is that there's an ulta in the plaza that i want to go to but i really should not be going to ulta because i just bought a new perfume and i feel like if i go in there i'm gonna buy another perfume because i want my collection shelf to look full and i just bought one so i don't need a new one right now but it's really been giving me retail therapy i feel like i don't know but i really shouldn't do it so i'm not probably not gonna go but i do need a new primer but i'm trying to stay away from ulta i really am trying to stay away from ulta but later today i have a whole bunch of clothes to fold i want to do a little deep cleaning session because i got a lot of mirrors in here and i want to make sure my mirrors are just always sparkling i want to clean my countertops i want to clean my bathroom the guest bathroom and my office area is clean because after i finished packaging all those orders the other day yeah it was a mess like i told you i was up all night and then i finished packaging the rest of my orders the next day i was in that room forever so after I finished doing all that stuff, I made sure that I just wanted it to look completely, you know, organized. And I did that. And so I don't care about that. My room is fine, but I do want to clean my bathroom, the other bathroom, and just like the mirrors that I have around. And I do want to organize my seasoning. Y'all know I have the seasoning organizers. I got seasonings here, but I have to refill them, so I'm going to do that later today too. So yeah, that's really it. And my family was here, so I have towels to wash and comforters and stuff like that. So that's basically it for me. All right, y'all, so actually, I found a few of my little razors, so I don't actually have to go nowhere today, which I'm happy about, because I really don't need to, so I don't really gotta go nowhere, and I'm happy about that. So, I found my little razor, and now I'm gonna do my dermal cleaning and get all, all the little hairs on my face, doing my eyebrows or whatever. And I actually bought a new eye cream or eye serum. I actually never used eye serum before, but I have dark circles under my eyes and that's the normal, that's common. It's not like it's a problem, but you know, I was like, I really wanna try something, an eye serum and see if it works. And I just started using this consistently. So I've never had any eye serum. If y'all wanna drop any recommended eye serums that y'all would think is good to use, Please let me know because I don't know what's really good for dark circles. I just found this at the store and I read it and it just looked like it would be good. But I don't know any good brands that have like proven to be good for darker eye circles. I don't really know any brands that have like popular proof that it's good. So this one is Daniela Roche 
cosmetics i'm not sure i'm saying that right i perfect vitamin c eye serum for brightening and immediate lifting effect like i said i don't really know if this one is the best i just started using it but if you guys have recommendations please tell me so after i wash my face after i'm done doing this i'm going to be putting that on but first to do my face what i do is use my shea moisture and also if y'all are new here then y'all don't know this but if y'all are not new here y'all know this is what we do and i've been using the same oil i've had this oil for so long see i'm almost out of it actually but then y'all know i have very dry skin but i haven't shaved my face on camera in a very long time i feel like so yeah this is the shea moisture papaya and vitamin c brighter days ahead serum so this also has vitamin c i put the clips in my hair already and if i'm looking down y'all it's because i have a mirror that magnifies everything because obviously I need to see what I'm doing. So I put a good amount of oil, y'all. And I remember my nail mixing. I told y'all I'm gonna get my nails done later on this week. Maybe this weekend, I should say. But I have very dry skin, y'all. I feel like my skin has been doing better because I've been moisturizing it more and hydrating it and trying to take care of it to my best ability. Okay, so I feel like that's enough. So I'm about to go ahead and do this, y'all and then do the rest of my skincare routine, which is me just using my CeraVe facial cleanser. It's the hydrating one, because like I said, my skin is dry. And then I also use my moisturizer lotion and my eye serum. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can get this skin. I'm telling you, for me, when I do this, my skin just looks so much more cleaner. And especially if you have a camera all day in your face like me, whether it's doing this, well, I don't have this camera on my face every day, y'all know. This is like 10% of my life, y'all see. But when I do have a camera on my face, oh, these cameras nowadays, they show everything, right? So I need my face to be smooth and just looking clean. So yeah, I'm gonna do this skincare routine real quick, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm in my PJs. I got like a little cute PJ set that I got from my mom when it was Christmas time. We all had matching pajamas, and y'all know I love a good two piece. So of course, I pick one that I can wear without it being Christmas, cause I'm just so grown. Like I feel like I wear two piece sets to go to sleep now. Like I'm definitely just an auntie. I'm just playing y'all, but the skin is skinny. I just did my little routine. And baby, my skin is just slugging right now. And that's why I look like a grease monster. But I promise you, it's really actually good for my face because my face is like dry. So I just need all that hydration. When I wake up in the morning, it's gonna look and feel good. But right now, I'm about to just clean up. I told y'all that I gotta fold so much clothes and I gotta put a load in the washing machine. So I'm about to do that. I told y'all I wanted to clean up and I wanna do it before I go to sleep. So, I got my stuff, my pink stuff, comment for my bathtub and shower. I already got plugins, and y'all, I got plugins all over my apartment, and it smells so good. But I don't know why I got um, a new flavor. The new flavor that I got, I love these plugins, the Hawaiian Island ones. I had got vanilla. I can't see because the package is gone. But I had got vanilla and something else, and I do not like that scent. It's not a bad smelling scent because I like vanilla. It just smell like I just wouldn't want that scent here. But it's not bad. Like I don't know. 
it's still sweet and I have it in here because I feel like it smells good when I first put it in there and I put it in my room in like an enclosed space. I don't like the smell. So I'm gonna keep it fruity in here from now on. Fruity or like lemon clean smell. I'm not gonna do vanilla because Oh no, I don't like that smell. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray my bathroom up real quick before I go and fold these clothes. And then I'm gonna lay down and go to sleep. My night is honestly done, so. How's your eye? Sorry, folding my clothes. I have so much laundry, y'all, because I have. I'm gonna hang all my stuff up last, and I'm gonna just get the stuff that I need to get folded out the way, so I don't have to stop. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I do want to start going to the gym, just have like a routine, not really for like fitness. Well, for fitness too, but I don't know. Me personally, I really enjoy Pilates as like a fitness thing. Like I haven't been going since I got into my car accident. Well, I was going consistently before them, and that is hands down like my number one favorite thing i've ever done for like fitness and health i honestly recommend that more than anything like i'm not a person who enjoys like the gym and i could say that and be honest and be 100 like i know some people once they start um breaking the habit and going to the gym for a long time which i've never been a person who has been consistent in the gym like c consistent for more than a month like i've never been a person who's like a gym rat and got into that love of going to the gym and I don't know I just feel like Pilates was that for me so I need to start getting back into that I really enjoy Pilates and I feel like it's something I could do for like the rest of my life for like health and fitness and I do need to start going to the gym anyway though just to have you know some cardio in my routine and stuff like that going to the gym of course is good for you I never was able to really break a habit and be in the gym consistently for like months and like be that gym rat and really love the gym and I feel like that's because I feel like I need like an instructor or something like that because I'll be feeling like when I'm in the gym I don't know if I'm doing stuff right like and I feel like if I'm doing it right I feel like I won't do it right all the time so I'm thinking about it like am I even gonna get results like am I doing this right whereas Pilates is an instructor and you're making sure that you're doing everything right and if you're not doing something right your instructor comes to you and she adjusts you and she waits on you to do it the right way so you're not even behind and stuff like that and I feel like that was just so good for me because I was able to know I'm doing everything right and I saw results like I saw results and people around me they saw results and said like oh my god like that body is working girl so I really love that for me personally i don't mind working out in the gym and so i'll be feeling like am i even doing this stuff right i will watch tutorials on how to do certain workouts and or just like the machine or just do what i know right of course the basics you know what i'm saying but i'll be feeling like is this the right routine for me is this gonna actually benefit me i don't know what really works good for me yet in the gym i never had like a gym routine that i knew would work good for me i've never been consistent in the gym so I don't know. I really need to find something, just have a routine just to incorporate in my daily life because I want to be one of those people who the gym makes them feel good and like makes them feel good mentally as well. But for me, I be in the gym still overthinking about stuff. In Pilates, I don't be thinking about nothing but making sure I'm doing the thing right. It's just a good environment because it's really all women mostly and it's just like that was my thing. So I really want to start trying to go to the gym though. I'm going to try. I'm going to try it. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm, I need to get like a routine though. Like I need to get a gym routine, y'all. I just don't know what works well for me, y'all. I want to keep myself productive as possible even when I'm done doing work. Like when the camera is done, when the laptop is closed, phone is down, emails are down, I'm not packaging no orders. I want to still be productive in some way and have better things to like occupy my time. So we're going to try to get into it. Look at my shirt. <laughs> and y'all been asking me, do I sell that merch, y'all? That was a gift for my birthday. I do not sell none of that 
uh, merch. I promise you, the robe, the robe was a gift, the shirts were a gift. I keep getting blessed with Kaylee Collection merch. And not even just for the summer, because I be saying anybody is summer body ready, okay? Summer gonna get whatever body I give it. Winter gonna get whatever body I give it, okay? Because I love the body that I'm in. You gotta love yourself in every state and every form you are to really appreciate yourself. Like, that's the most biggest form of self-love, loving yourself in every way. That doesn't mean that you don't gotta improve on nothing just because you love yourself. That just means you gotta love yourself in every form. Don't just do stuff for the physical look and the physical appearance. Do it because you wanna do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, my face looks so greasy, but I promise you it's gonna be so worth it when I'm up in the morning and my face is hydrated. And I just had to buy so much towels and rags, y'all, because I'm such a person, I need rags in my house. I need a whole bunch of rags in my house. And I don't know, I feel like my rags and my towels just walk away from me and run away from me and I don't know where they go. I have to get some more, cause we need those towels. And I put my hair up just to go to sleep. Well, not to go to sleep, I just put it up to not look crazy after I got out of the shower. But in reality, when I go to sleep, I'm taking this whole thing off. But yeah, y'all, send me some nail designs for the summer. Just tag me. Just tag me some nail designs. I don't know how I have my nephew's draws in my hamper. Them kids, them kids, them kids. Hey, y'all, so I'm on my phone right now because I'm going to go to sleep. I was just actually finishing editing this video up, so I wanted to come on here and give y'all a proper goodbye because I wasn't going to leave y'all hanging, but I went to sleep in the last clip right after I was done doing what I needed to do, so... That's what I'm going to do now. But yeah, and don't forget to enter the giveaway if you guys are interested in winning the entire It Girl collection from Canon Collection. The giveaway is going to be ending June 1st, so y'all have until the rest of this month to basically get everything out and tag me and everything. So I just wanted to come on here and remind y'all about that. But thank y'all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.